Let, let's start with the big guy, man. The, the one that everybody's highly touting. Just broke out of his sneakers <laughs> earlier this week. Busted out of his Paul George's. As Zion Williamson, man. What, what is your take on the Zion phenomenon, bro? He's, I mean, he's a phenomenon. Like, 6'6". Six, six. He's not 285 anymore. He's been losing some weight. Uh, he's in the 270s now. He's unbelievable athlete. He's got ridiculous, like, vertical spacing ability. He can pass. He can handle. He can finish. Um, the jump shot, you know, needs a little bit of work. But I think he's been shooting somewhere in the 30s from three uh, since conference play started. Mm. Um, and he's – his personality is awesome. Like, he is a guy you want in front of the big lights. And – I mean, I think he'd do well in New York. Yeah, it, yeah, he's, he's definitely a guy that I I see can looks like he can handle the spotlight, man. But on, on that on on his jumper, where you know where where a lot of people um like to knock him a few points. I mean, what is it that that people are, are criticizing him for? Is it the shooting form? Is it just the low percentage? What about his, his jumper? Is is the knock right now? It's both. Uh, he was never really a good shooter, even going back to his time in AAU. And I posted a few clips um, maybe two months ago or so of some of his AAU stuff and his off-the-dribble shooting ability where it's actually better. But when you watch his, uh, his form shooting, uh, taking catch and shoot jump shots, his elbow is flaring and he's not squared up anywhere. Like his elbow is going one way, his feet are going the other, and his body is, I mean, his body is fine. Um, but the form needs work. I don't think he'll ever really be a good catch and shoot shooter. Maybe he'll get to like 33, 34%, which is serviceable, but the average in the NBA is like 35 or 36. Um, but I do think he's a better off the dribble jump shooter than he's shown just because of what we've seen in the past and Coach K kind of limiting his role. I hear that. I hear that. Um, what I what I see in him, like what I like even more so than you know, just the way he dominates the game is his defense, man. What's your, what's your take on his defense? Because I feel like he has a, a good uh, defensive awareness out there. He has a good knack for the ball. Uh, what, what's your take on, on on Zion from a defensive standpoint? Yeah. So on ball, I think he's great when he actually wants to get in the stance. Like he he's a big guy. He, for him to be able to stay with smaller players, his, his technique has to be pretty on point, um, even with his like ridiculous athleticism. Um, but when he's not locked in, he, it's easier to take him off the dribble, and you'll see a couple of guys get by him. Yeah. Then off ball, I think his positioning is actually pretty good. Like people think that he's just that guy who's going to go for steals and blocks, and like he'll take a lot of risks. Yeah. And more often than not. I think he'll get away with it just because his anticipation is great. Um, and his IQ is great, but then there are other times where he's just not doing well at all. And like, he'll get beat back door cause he's going for a steal just where he shouldn't be. So mm-hmm. I think his defense is definitely overlooked. I think that if you really want to make him into like a defensive player of the year candidate in the NBA, which I think he can get there, he has to be drafted and he has to be coached up and basically taught to like, you know, basically pick and choose when you uh when you go for the steal when you go for the block and things mm. like that interesting interesting man in terms of um his fit an- another area where i see people i guess confused about is um can he guard threes a three is going to be too quick for him at the nba level a four is going to be too big for him at the nba level what, what do you what do you think about that in terms of where he fits I mean, in terms of weight, I think he's coming in at, like the second heaviest player in the NBA behind Boban. Wow, uh, which is that's crazy because Boban, yeah, Boban's like seven three. And yeah, Zion facts, facts. That's crazy, man. But that's that's funny because isn't the allure that he is heavy and can do that those kind of things? And if he's kind of a normal weight, he would just be like a small forward almost. <laughs> yeah, and my thing is like I think if he gets down to like two hundred fifty five ish pounds he'll still keep that same strength because he's Mm -hmm. not someone who plays smaller than his weight. If anything, he plays bigger than his 265 pounds, 270 pound uh, frame. So if he gets down to 255, I think he'll be able to guard fours. I think he'll be able to switch on to some smaller fives. Um, And then threes, yes, but do you really want anyone like him chasing someone around the perimeter? Yeah. Um, Mm -hmm. I'm not really sure if I'd want that if I were a coach. Um, But 
you know, switching on point guards, I think he'll be able to defend most point guards in isolation when he's in the stands. I wonder if he'll be quicker if you lose the weight too, because that's that's the scary part. Because you know, you lose you lose thirty pounds, the speed is going to go up. So I, I wonder. Mm-hmm. I, I wonder. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's like another level that he can reach athletically. It's like I mean, everyone's seen the photo of him, um, of him blocking like DeAndre Hunter's jump shot. He was like 15 feet away, yeah. and then he ends up closing in. And then you know all the photos of his head at the rim and above the rim. And I mean, he can get higher. And then in the short space athleticism, which is also like unheard of, he'll just be you know half a second faster, which doesn't seem like it makes a big difference, but that's a huge difference in yeah. the NBA. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, I, I like this kid's defense, man. I, I yeah, definitely like this kid's defense even more so than his offense, man. Mm-hmm. Um, Spencer, what's your take on on the injury hype and and the should he play, should he not play sort of deal? Well, where are you on that? I th- so, I mean, I think college athletes should either be paid or they should be allowed to use like their image in order to you know either get sneaker deals or sell autographs or that kind of stuff. So, from that standpoint, like, why would you risk tearing your ACL or spraining your MCL again or um, you know, doing something to your foot, which is obviously terrible for a big man. Like, if I were him, I'd really, really think about just sitting out because he's going to be the first overall pick if he doesn't play another second. Yeah. Um, selfishly, I want to see him play just because I don't really want to have to go, you know, eight months without watching him in a competitive atmosphere. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Um, but in terms of the injury, like, this is the first big injury he's ever had, as far as I know. Like, I've done research. I've tried searching for anything i think he had like might have had like knee tendonitis for like a week or so which i know tendonitis is like a progressive thing and just gets worse but it hasn't bothered him since then mm-hmm. and the mcl was like this was a freak accident like his shoe just exploded on him exploded like, I, I that's gonna happen yeah. um but i mean just going back to the weight if he gets down you know to 255 260 i think his career will probably stay at its peak a little bit longer just because it's less wear and tear in his joints. And yeah, I mean, I'd weigh my, I'd weigh my uh, options with him. Yeah. But overall, you think that the hype is real with Zion. You you think he's going to be the real deal at the next level? Yeah. I think him and Luca are like the two next guys up. Like I was super high on Luca and I'm super, super high on Zion also. Like those guys are, they're going to be the next guys to take over the NBA. Who, who do you think was a better prospect? Next question. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I've, I haven't seen that, man. It's interesting, man. It's, it's an interesting it's debate. Tough. Yeah. It's, it's tough. Like, those guys are definitely, like, the two, like, clear tier one guys. Like, right. I'm comfortable building around either of them. They have both have very different skill sets. Um, you, you really can't go wrong either way. Yeah. Yeah, interesting, man. We got a lot of star power coming into the league, JLs. That's for sure. Yeah, man. We a lot of star do. power coming into the league. Hopefully, uh, like I said, May fourteenth. Uh, let, yeah. Let's let's hope for the best, man. Let's hope for the yeah, best. Please, please, please. Absolutely, <laughs> man. Shout out to everybody in the chat. I don't know what you guys think because I, when I see Zion defensively, it's like Draymond Green on steroids. Yeah, that's what I said. I, mm-hmm. I said his you defense know, is is more to me than his athleticism. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's that, that to me. I'm like, at the very least, he's going to score 15 points by accident, right? Just from getting to the line and easy dunks. 